Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a batch file that can write to text and HTML documents. So if we open it up, it'll ask us for our text. So I'm going to do a test of the text and HTML. So test, text, file name, text, extension.txt. And we get a text file named text, and it says test text. Now let's try the HTML function. HTML test file name, HTML test, and we'll just put hi at the end there for you see. And then uh, HTML is the extension. And get an HTML test, and it says HTML test hi. And in Firefox, it says HTML test. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is make a batch file. And for those who already uh, know how to do this, you can just skip forward, because I know it is sometimes quite frustrating. So right-click, New, Text Document. You're going to open it up, File, Save As. I'm going to call it Writer. So type in writer or whatever you want, .bat or .cmd, does the same thing, cmd is just a bit uh, more power for this tutorial, we're going to do .bat, click save, close the text document, and delete the text document. So now you have a file that is writer and it has this icon. You're going to right click, click edit, and the first thing you're going to type is at echo and then space off. Next thing we type is title and we're going to call it writer and that will change the text up here. Click enter, CLS, clears the screens, isn't it is not necessary. We're going to color 0b which will bring it to a tealish color. I'll show you here. And you can also type in color, space, forward slash, uh, question mark to get all the different combinations. Okay, now we're going to go echo, period, echo, period. And that will create two blank lines. Now we're going to go set, slash, p, and we're going to go text equals text, colon. So it's going to set the variable text with the argument uh, slash or dash p which asks for the user's input and it displays the text text colon. Now we're going to go echo period and we're going to go set slash p and then file we're just going to uh, fn is going to be the variable for file name and then equals file name colon. Now we're going to go echo period again and we're going to do set slash p ext equals extension. Now we want the user to know what to type in, so we're above that we're going to go echo, and then do some spaces and in parentheses, and then in quotes say dot txt quote, and then equals text file, and then we're going to do a slash. And then we're going to do in quotes dot html equals html file. All right. So now we have the user has entered all the data. Now we just need to put it into a, uh, the documents. So what we're going to do is we're going to go echo and then we want the text. So in um, percents text, which will tell the computer to use the variable text, and then we're going to go, so it's echoing the text, and then two greater than signs, so space after text, and then two greater than signs, two in percents fn, so two file name, and then another percent, and then ext, another percent. So it's echoing whatever they put in as text to whatever they put in the file name 
and then dot whatever they put. So then we're going to go exit because that should complete what we want. Save it, close it, and then we'll open it up. So when I ask for the text, I'm going to go, hi, this is a test. File name, tester, and extension, let's do dot txt, press enter, and we get a tester. And it says, hi, this is a test. And also, we'll go, hi, this is a HTML test. File name, HTML test, -er, and then dot HTML. Got HTML file that is named HTML tester. Opens it up and says, hi, this is a HTML test. So now, that's pretty much the end of this, but you can modify it to be something like this. So here, it says Mozilla Firefox. So I click on it. Your administrator has required you to log in to Firefox.exe. Please enter your information below. So it pops up a thing and says you are required to log on to Mozilla Firefox. You click OK and it asks you for your information. Now how I did this was with various VBS files, and I'm not going to show you in this tutorial just for the sake of time, but so we type in our first name, say our first name is Brian, let's type in our email, um, let's say brian123 at example.com, password, let's say it's 19023, press enter, and it says copyright 2012 Mozilla Inc or whatever, something like that. And Mozilla Firefox opens and it says, Thank you for logging into Mozilla Firefox, Brian. Press the home button to be taken to your home page. Have a wonderful day, Brian. So you click the home button and it does what it says. But when I, as the uh, computer user, or the uh, computer owner, go in, or whoever, go into my mail thing, open that up and type my password, click, uh, press enter, and the thing that says Brian pops up. And it says, on Wednesday, 1-30-2013, at 11.05.09.74, Brian logged on to Firefox. The email just used was brian123 at example.com with a password 19023. Have a nice day. So you can modify it to be something like that. I also have one for logging on to my computer um, in conjunction with the uh, regular password, of course. Um, don't get into trouble. I'm not responsible for anything that you do illegally with this, but... Um, just have fun. So, that was my tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.